Hello guys, welcome to Love DJ channel, where we love everything about digital art and web design. My name is Karel, and if you are looking for some very simple halftone background tutorial for Adobe Illustrator, well, you might be at the right spot. In this video, we will create very simple halftone pattern with random effect. So, let's begin. But for this, first, you have to have in your Adobe Illustrator, in your file, scripts, random script. If you have already installed it, it should be there. If not, well, don't worry, we will install it. So, you will have to go on this GitHub repository. I will leave, leave link in the description section. And there you will download zip file with these scripts. We especially need the random script. So once you download it, it looks like that. You will have to unzip it to your scripts folder. You know, I use Windows as you can see, but wherever you have installed Adobe Illustrator, there should be presets folder and in that your language folder, in my case English, and in that scripts folder. And into scripts folder, you will just unzip all these files or just random us if you want and restart your Adobe Illustrator if you have opened it before and there should be your scripts file. On Mac it should be the same. Basically you should find scripts folder and there you should unzip it. Well, if you have done it and we sh you should have now a random script here. So we can start, let's create new file. And for this tutorial I have chosen you know, simple full HD resolution pixels and basically color mode RGB for web sites. Let's create. And first thing we are going to do, we will create a rectangle that will cover the, all the artboard. So let's choose rectangle tool and let's just simply draw a rectangle through the all artboard the next thing we are going to do is we will give it gray background we will not do black because the more black the closer will be dots together and we want their little bit distance so let's choose gray color and now let's go to the effects pixelate color half tone and here I have already my settings I want to use, but you can experiment with this. Basically, the, this one is the size of the dot, and these are the channels. You know, for me it works best as this, but you can experiment with all kinds of configuration you can have here. So let's click OK. And now, as you can see, we have generated simple half tone effect it's not it's not vectorized yet and as you can see we have a little bit border here so we need to get rid of this it's because of the stroke so let's go to properties let's click here on stroke and let's remove it by clicking here none yes and now as i was saying this is not vectorize it, we have to vectorize it. For this, go to Object, Expand Appearance, that's the first step. Second step, Object, Image Trace, Make and Expand. Okay, let's click. Basically now, it's tracing our dots and vectorizing them. Well, and it's done. So, but we still have to get rid of the white border here, white background. To do that, it's very easy. Let's just choose a direct selection tool and click here 
and press delete and it's gone and now well for some it's enough but in this tutorial we want to do random effect and here comes our script so we will basically open it oh yes first you need to select all the dots to do that go to layers if you don't see layers here always have this window layers or you can press ctrl a on the computer and command a on mac then if you have selected it you can go to files script randomus and now for this tutorial we will simply apply opacity filter here but you can experiment for example you can fill it with random color you can stroke you can fill it with colors from your swatches you have opened here you can change positions and do rotations and all kinds of things scales but we will just use this one because it's very simple and very good looking i think well basic settings we have chosen you know we don't need to experiment now now as you can see it works and it's i, I like it it's very simple a very interesting appealing and you can go further you know for example we have layers here we can also create another layer another rectangle tool use and we can for example draw uh, like that and for example fill it with blue color you we can move it below the our halftone effect and we can change color here for white for example it will look very interesting yes as you can see we have this interesting blue design with half tone kind of random opacity effect and but the cho you have all kinds of choices you can make you can experiment and uh, also chose different shape that re rectangle you could change uh, choose eclipse all kinds of shapes we have here you know so this was very simple tutorial for uh, half the random effect hopeful hope you will like it enjoy it and do some interesting stuff with it so if you're interested in more tutorials you can subscribe to my channel and we will do it next time so have a great day and bye